Hey, so I wanted to talk about living in your practice room. So, uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, um, there was a few bands that I knew that lived in their practice rooms. There was actually a place called um, The Metal Shop. It wasn't just metal bands. There were a few metal bands, but there were some punk bands, some glam um, glam rock kind of bands. There was, I mean, there was a whole bunch of different bands. And a lot of people live there. Um, and, you know, some, some people have asked me, well, what, what was it about the Northwest? Was it the water? You know, what, what is it about you guys that, you know, there was nothing else to do. I mean, in a lot of ways, it really was like, you know, one track mind for so many people that I, I knew. It was it was rock and roll, man. It was. We just we lived it. Um and and I know there were some bands, I know the Rhino Humpers, uh Bonzort, um Spectre Love lived in their room. Like I think the whole band lived not in that place but in another another practice room they all lived in I mean literally they would sleep in their practice room wake up play hang out all day drink do it all over again all over again all over again every day um and I know the rhino humpers did the same thing I remember going in the rhino humpers room and it's like people passed out everywhere and it you know smell smelled <laughs> You know, nobody's taking a bath in like two weeks or something. And um, you know, for myself, I attempted to do that a couple times, but just with the people that I played in bands with, it was usually houses that you know a band member would have that the band would practice at the house. I've lived in a house with pretty much the whole band before, you know, probably multiple times. But in a practice room, I mean, you know. That's like, that's some serious, you know. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's what that's what it was like. Like, um, I don't I don't know I don't know. Like, what are what are you guys? I mean, how dedicated are the bands that you know and the bands that you are in? Do you all sleep in your practice room for weeks upon end and just play music? And you know, I'm I'm sure there's people that do. I mean. Why not, right? Um, but I, I think that there there is some kind of success that will come out of that just because you believe in it so much that how how could there not be natural success in that? If you if you do what you love without thinking of what you're going to get out of it, you're just doing it. You know, I mean, you're because there's some kind of a drive then things will naturally take their course, you know, that's how it works, so that's how it works with music, um, so anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk about that, alright, thanks.